Wow. What really is this air that we keep talking about all the time? We feel the wind on our hands, we feel the breeze. And we should feel curious about what air really is. Right? Now to answer that question for you, let me ask another one. Have you as a child played in what's called a playpen? I don't know if that's a general name, but it's basically a large place with a lot of colorful balls which you get to jump inside and throw them around and play with your friends. And if you're really naughty, you get to bury somebody completely inside so that they can come up and scare somebody who's coming anew. Now, what's this got to do with it? What if I told you that right now as you stand, all around you, for like, I don't know, kilometers above, there are millions or billions of such balls of air and you're buried inside. Which means even as you walk, you're actually walking through these balls, moving them apart. And when you're moving your hand, you're actually moving these balls apart and making space for yourself. And the balls form back again. Now that must be a little crazy, right? So thinking of air like this might make you even ask a question. So then does air also have different kinds of balls? Or are all the balls the same? To really answer that question, can you imagine that these balls of air are visible? And if they also had a color, let's see how they look. Now, what do you see? You see that a large number, right, a vast majority of these balls are green in color. You don't know what they are, but they're green in color. And the next set is blue in color. And then a very small number are orange. And a really, really, really small scattered number is gray in color. Now, we don't know what these colors mean yet. And we don't know what we mean by saying type. But what must this mean? Air is not just one thing, but seems to be more than one thing's mixture. And you know what a mixture is, right? So if this is how the mixture is, can we imagine this better? What if we move these around a little bit and bring them over there so that you can see them now and you notice that more than three-fourth are these green balls, the next of that are the blue, then the orange and then the grey. Now it so happens, by the way, that these coloured balls actually have some serious sounding names. Alright, you know what they are? The green ones are called, that type of ball is called nitrogen. The blue is called oxygen. The one over there, the, the orange one, is called carbon dioxide. But you might be asking me, what is the other little grey, very, very small others over there? What are those others in the air? We'll answer that. But before that, these, right? These types are called gases. Right? Nitrogen is considered a gas, oxygen a gas, and so on. And their mixture is what we call air. And these are not separate in air, but they're all mixed together. So you want to see how it really looks. If you take them and spread them across and watch them go inside again and stay where they are, that's how it's going to look. Now, there are many, many questions you can ask with this, right? One of them being, we marked a small grey area there called others. What exactly are these others? And that's what we're going to see next. <laughs>